saffron infused orange marmalade. I know it sounds like a handful, but it's not. It's just really, really easy to do this. Um, basically, the rule of thumb here is just to remember, keep it simple. So that's one cup of orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice, one cup of orange zest, and one cup of orange segments. Basically, have a look at on our uh, culinary technique section and you'll be able to see if you don't know how to do zest segments, you'll be able to see how to do them. And basically, one cup of each, put it all in a nice little container like this. A flat container is really important when you want to dehydrate things, liquid-based things, or if you're going to make stock. And in base, we're going to do, uh, since we're going to do orange marmalade here, it's really, really important to have it in a flat container or in a container like this with would do the job. And basically that's that. I'm going to pour in over my juice here. Um, and I'm going to add a couple of saffron leaves. Just a couple on top. It will do the trick because it's going to infuse gently. I'm a bit short of oranges. Uh, does, does anyone have orange? Okay. There we go. What I'm going to do here, just going to quickly show you how this is done. Directly in there, right? Make sure the orange is cleaned, dried. Beautiful. Look at all that citrus splashing out. It just smells gorgeous. These are Victorian Valencia oranges. And you can do this and it lasts forever. Literally, there's nothing to go off, especially when we add a cup of dark agave. And that's it. Yeah, look how easy this is. Once you've done this, got all these beautiful zests in there. Grab a nice little fillet knife, and once you get all your segments out, you mix it around. Dark agave. What I have here is infused orange dark agave. It's been sitting around for a while. Oh, that just smells divine. Now you put a cup of that in here. With a fork, give it a nice little stir. Yeah. And because the reason why you're using dark is just because orange marmalade means you need to be sitting in on a stove for like four to five or six hours sometimes to just slowly simmer away. So you get that beautiful, glazy, glistening marmalade happening. And in this case, we've got a beautiful saffron, a couple of nice bits of saffron in there. And then you basically use some of this cooking paper. this so it's that all dehydrates evenly and uh, you can always use a knife to put on top so it keeps the paper down and a dehydrator I would say between 12 to 16 hours keep an eye on it though all you want is a nice glistening uh, thick marmalade and this is the consistency that you're looking for check this out Oh, oh my god, look at that. Beautiful. Seriously, it's just delicious. Mmm. Bon chance.